A natural difficulty for mathematicians when it comes to career planning is that there is no one clear-cut, precisely calculated formula for choosing a career path. However, you can approach career-related questions logically by breaking the problem down into a series of questions to arrive at a conclusion that makes sense for you. Take, for example, the question of how to obtain a PhD in mathematics and statistics. This video guide breaks that question down into its component parts and then addresses each part individually. The options and specializations you can select within a PhD program in mathematics and statistics are virtually limitless. Your PhD could be in pure mathematics, applied mathematics, or statistics. But within each of these disciplines is a variety of study limited only by your imagination and the guidance of the particular program. For example, Subfields in mathematics, such as numerical analysis or discrete mathematics, or you could add courses and research from another field, such as computer science or biology. So, even though your PhD in mathematics and statistics may sound somewhat general in itself, you have plenty of options in terms of how you decide to specialize your degree. Some questions to ask yourself include, is a PhD in mathematics and or statistics right for you? Assuming you've already earned a bachelor's and possibly even a master's degree in mathematics or statistics, you might have mixed feelings about committing further time and resources to your education to earn a doctorate degree. This guide looks at some of the benefits of having a PhD in mathematics and statistics so you can decide if those benefits appeal to you. What do you plan to do with your PhD in mathematics or statistics? If you decide you do want to pursue your doctorate, you should think past getting your degree and envision the career you'd like to have. The field you plan to go into can influence the nature of the doctorate program that, you would, that would be most beneficial to you, and thus where you decide to pursue your PhD in mathematics and statistics. How do you evaluate graduate schools in mathematics or statistics? With the availability of online PhD programs, the choice of schools is broader than ever before. Making a list of the key evaluation criteria helps you make sense of that choice. What does it take to apply to a PhD in mathematics and statistics? Expect competition for acceptance in a doctorate in any mathematics or statistics program to be tough, so knowing what to expect in the application process can help you increase your chances of success. How can I make the most of my PhD in mathematics or statistics? Remember. Getting the doctorate degree is just an interim goal. Ultimately, this process should point you toward a successful career, so this guide concludes with some tips for getting the most out of your doctorate. Taken individually, you could readily answer each of these component questions to help advance step by step along your career path. A doctorate in mathematics or statistics may represent the toughest academic challenge of your life. If you're going to devote the time, money, and intellectual energy necessary to meet that challenge, make sure you're ready to, to take the next steps. Some of the reasons you may choose to pursue a PhD in mathematics and statistics could be it's an emerging field that requires cutting-edge knowledge. New applications for mathematics are being discovered all the time, and advanced computer models are revolutionizing the field. Earning a doctorate degree gives you a deeper and more up-to-date knowledge of these developments. A doctorate degree is a common requirement in academia. Because many high-level jobs in mathematics are in academia, expect a doctorate to be required for holding a post of some significance. Private industry requires competitive credentials. If you decide to pursue private industry rather than academia, you'll find that hiring conditions are effectively competitions among the available pool of candidates. Earning a terminal degree in the field of mathematics helps move your credentials toward the top of the list. Government jobs may have precise degree requirements. Government job specifications often dictate what degrees are necessary for various positions, so owning a PhD in mathematics or statistics ensures that you are not deemed underqualified for government jobs in this sector. In short, deciding to pursue a doctorate degree in mathematics or statistics boils down to whether you see yourself content with a rank-and-file job in the field or whether you want to be able to pursue jobs with higher levels of leadership responsibility and prestige. 
Visit WorldwideLearn for all of your education resource needs.